like power, obviously, you get on the throttle, you get on a straight, you're going to hit the throttle to 100%. Like that, that's what you're going to do, and you're going to feel any power increase as a result of that. Aero, if you go and drive the car in exactly the same manner as you were driving without the aero, the car is, yeah, like you say, it's going to be slower down the straight and it's going to be the same speed everywhere else. You're not going to be at the limit of grip, but like it's not going to feel any faster. But then when someone then goes and spends more time with it, they can realize that the aero gives them more grip and actually adjust their braking points and adjust their corner entry speeds to suit that. That's when they really start to notice it. And unfortunately, a lot of drivers, particularly at the amateur level, they don't realize that straight away and they have to sort of work their way up there. Normally the first bit of feedback I get from drivers that have just taken an aero upgrade kit from me is, is that they always make a lot of comments about the braking because I think it's the easiest thing for them to relate to whereby they can just mash the pedal 100% and realize, hey, the brakes aren't locking up, but I'm pulling some serious G.